Welcome to our review on rate and concentration. First thing we need to know then is what this word concentration actually means. So when we're talking about concentration, it's a measure of how much solute is dissolved in the solvent. The more concentrated a solution is, then the greater the mass of solute dissolved in the solvent. When we consider the effect of concentration on the rate of a reaction, when we increase the concentration, we increase the rate of reaction. And the reason for that is that when we've got a higher concentration, we have more crowded particles. Therefore, they're going to have more frequent collisions. So make sure that when they ask you to explain why increasing the concentration increases the rate of reaction, you use the phrase more crowded particles and more frequent collisions. One thing to bear in mind when we're talking about these chemical reactions is that a reaction actually comes to a stop once the limiting reactant has been used up. So the limiting reactant is the chemical reactant that's going to be used up first, hence limiting reactant. And what we can find is if you're looking at one of these graphs of a reaction, you can tell where the reaction stops because that's where the graph plateaus or levels off to a horizontal line. Now, what we can also do is look at the link between the amount of our limiting reactant and the amount of our product, because what we find is that the amount of product that we make is proportional to the amount of limiting reactant. So if we doubled the amount of limiting reactant, we would double the product and so forth. The second scenario we need to consider here is what happens when we're talking about a reaction mixture and we increase the pressure. So if we increase the pressure, then the particles become more crowded and so they collide more frequently. So we end up with an increased rate of reaction. So increasing the pressure increases the rate of reaction because the particles are more crowded and so have more frequent collisions again. Hopefully at the end of this video, you can now describe and explain the effect of changes in concentration on the rate of reaction and you can describe and explain the effect of changes in pressure on the rate of a reaction.